Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about product disassembly. Disassembly or teardown of a product is a major step in the reverse engineering process. It uncovers the principles behind how a product works. It is always fun to tear apart a product, but nothing will be accomplished if data is not collected during the process. To gather this data, we'll use a product disassembly chart. Okay, we will be able to answer the following questions. When we tear it apart, these are the things that we're trying to get done. Uh, not necessarily in this order, but these are the important things. One, how do the parts interact? Two, what are the good and bad features of this product? Uh, we're going to talk about the form of it and the function. The form would be the 3D uh, part of it, talking about the, the length, depth, and width, uh, height of it. Uh, the function is how well it works. The third question, what has caused the product to succeed or fail? Fourth question, are the materials appropriate? Fifth question, what manufacturing was used? What manufacturing process was used? And then the sixth one, what is the estimated cost of the product? Now some of these obviously we're not going to be equipped to be able to answer here in our classroom. Uh, but most of these we will be able to. Why disassemble a product? To identify the components and interaction of the components. To determine the strengths and weaknesses of the parts and to understand the operation. Um, sometimes it's to develop a computer documentation. Initial product selection. All right, a product is selected to reverse engineer. It can be something as simple as a simple toys, a uh, children's toy, or it could be uh, something as complicated as uh, a fishing, a fishing um, reel. Suggested supplies for disassembly. Um, we have many. Uh, all of these could be things that you use. Anything that's going to require to take the part, to take the the, uh, the product apart. Uh, we do not destructively disassemble an automobile blocks vehicle. I want to make sure I go over that here. Um, we are not going to disassemble it any more than what we have already prior. Uh, to this in class. Product disassembly and documentation procedure. Um, we're going to disassemble the product, create pictorial sketches to describe the operation, carefully observe and measure each part, record your findings on the product disassembly chart, create an annotated sketch of each part, compare your hypothesis for operation to the actual operation of the part, create 3D solid models for each part, and document your findings. So these right here are the steps that we'll be going through uh, as we do um, the structural analysis. And that's what we're really talking about here then uh, is the structural analysis as we start to find out all of these things for these parts. Product disassembly chart. All right, notice on here, uh, part number. Uh, you can simply just name number on part one, two, three, four, and so far. Part name. Uh, whether it's the windshield, the person, the rim, the tire, the axle, and so forth. Uh, product name would be automobile blocks. You put today's date and the time, group members, uh, the material. Uh, I'm actually going to give you a chart that you can fill in the material. Uh, you can find the density on there as well. Uh, you'll find the mass. Uh, you'll have to go up and weigh it uh, on the scale. Texture and finish. Uh, is it smooth? Is it clear? Uh, is it rough? Is it hard? Uh, not really hard, but is it uh, rough? Is it opaque, meaning you can't see through it? Uh, interaction with other parts. You know, what is it? What is it, other parts does it interact with? For example, you're not going to say that the windshield interacts with the rim because the windshield and the rim don't interact with each other. Um, general notes, i.e., uh, do you see anything on here that says that maybe this part is is under stress, meaning it's starting to wear? Uh, does it look like it's getting ready to crack? Um, things like that. Uh, do you see chips? Uh, what type of um, things do you find that are bad about that? Answer the following question. How do the parts interact? What are the good and bad features of the product? Again, this is how we want to be able to, these are the questions we want to be able to answer when we're done with our structural analysis of our auto blocks. We want to be able to say, what has caused the product to, to succeed or fail? Are the materials appropriate? Maybe, maybe we need to change one. You might think that maybe this need, there, that shouldn't be made out of wood. Maybe you think it should be made out of something different. All right. What manufacturing process was used to make these? 
what is the estimated cost of the product. So these would all be things we'd want to find uh, as we're doing a structural analysis. Well, hey, I hope you found that informational today. I'll catch you on the flip side.